we're gonna add in our yolks right into the eyeballs. This has been in here quite a while. Wow. Ooh. Start by placing our partially cooked chicken into our jar of peanut butter. TikTok cooking, a phrase that sometimes wakes me in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. Why, you may ask? Oh, my sweet summer child, you still have so much to learn. Now, we're no stranger to bad TikTok cooking on this channel. Matter of fact, we are quite literally the opposite. If there is a bad chef on TikTok, then you can bet your sweet bippy that I know about him. And today, we are revisiting one of the worst offenders we have ever seen on this channel. Channel. It's a TikTok account I'm sure many of you remember, My Jane Brain. And I revisited Jane's account a few days ago to see if she was still up to no good, and uh, well, this video is being made, isn't it? Now, if you haven't seen the video that I did about Jane a few months ago, well then, my friend, you are in for a treat. And I mean that with literally no sincerity because this video is likely gonna ruin your day. Because we're about to watch a few of Jane's most recent creations, and uh, they're really, really not pleasant, okay? I recommend that you put any food products that you might be interacting with to the side, and I suggest that you remove small children from the room. It's about to get serious, baby. Let's begin. Please subscribe. First, we're gonna add in our yolks right into the eyeballs. One egg here in the mouth. Wow, okay, not even five seconds in and I'm already ready to turn off my computer. Not even gonna give us an introduction, not even gonna tell us what we're making, we're just making a meat man. No context. A meat man infused with eggs, you can't just do that. You can't just drop that on a person, okay? That's not cool. And the last yolk here, we can't forget about seasoning our ground beef, the black pepper on here, Lay's chips. Yep, you Ooh. heard it. So go ahead and just put those all the way around the beef. Lightly salted ruffles. And these you can crush up a little bit smaller and just place those all around the edges as well. All right, you can't have mashed potatoes without some light cream. Oh my God, what? Surely my ears are deceiving me. Are you planning on making mashed potatoes out of potato chips? Surely, surely that's against the law, correct? I mean, we are a country with some standards, right? We're really gonna let this slide, guys? Really? Okay, sure, 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 sure. So we're just gonna gently pour that in. What would mashed potatoes be without butter, honestly? Yeah, I know, another good question to ponder. What would mashed potatoes be without potatoes. Now we're gonna just place these butter slices all the way around the pan. We need some parsley and we're just gonna place it gently around our beef. I don't know why these eyes are all red but uh <laughs> we're just gonna go in with a little more seasoning because you don't want bland mashed potatoes. I like mine really garlicky but that looks nice. All right let's see if they're turning into mashed potatoes because that's what they used to be. So we're just restoring them to their natural habitat. This is genuinely horrifying. Not only this abysmal mashed potato situation, are you guys seeing this face? That is a face of nightmares. Please do something about that. I really don't want to look at it anymore. Just to get them even thicker and creamier, we're gonna add some of this tri-blend cheese. Now we want the cheese to melt, so we're just gonna put the lid on this for a while, let it steam up. This has been in here quite a while. Wow. Oh. Look at that, the eggs are perfectly cooked. I am genuinely being unnerved by this video. I, I really don't like this meat face, guys. Am I alone in this? Am I the only one finding this slightly terrifying? That meat man is not right. Now let's take a look. And if this is ready to be flipped, we're just gonna go for it. Listen to that. Oh yeah, it's ready. All right, we're going for it. Yeah. <laughs> These actually look like mashed potatoes, and you can't tell me they don't. Actually, you know what? I I'm gonna tell you they don't. That was spoken like a person who has never seen a mashed potato in their life. At best, they look like cheesy caramelized onions. Mashed potatoes, no. We're just gonna guide our little face right out of the pan. I am so excited to try this. How good does this look? Let's see how good this turned out. Oh yeah. No, that is a burger. Um. Excuse me? So first you make a meat man, and then you make mashed potatoes out of potato chips, and you come around and tell me that this is supposed to be a burger? Um, what burger is served with mashed potatoes first off, and what burger doesn't have a bun? Just when I thought this video couldn't get any more wrong, I made some turkey meatballs today, are those burgers too? Is the only requirement in your mind meat? Come on Jane, you're better than this. Start by placing our partially cooked chicken into our jar of peanut butter. We're gonna cut the edges off of four or five slices of bread. Now we're gonna use the rolling pin to flatten out our slices of bread. And I'm just gonna make them into nice strips. I'm gonna lay the bread on just like this. Why does this remind me of like paper mache? Crafts, but make it dinner. 
You know, it actually makes me sad that a chicken had to die for this. Now, I'm not against eating meat or anything. Like I said, I had some turkey meatballs today, which were pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. But like, these are living things. You're toying with a carcass for TikTok views. This is a real thing that had to die to go on a shelf for you to dip it in peanut butter and throw it away after making a stupid TikTok. Come on. One last piece on here like that. Now it's time to make our coating. We're gonna take some of these maple cookies. We're just gonna mash these up. We're gonna take two handfuls of Cinnamon Toast Crunch and go back in with our rolling pin. I'm gonna take two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Oh uh, yeah, because there was definitely not enough binding agent between the 17 maple cookies and the four cups of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Those breadcrumbs are crucial. I'm gonna mix that all together. We're gonna take four eggs and make a nice egg wash for our chicken. I'm gonna throw in some cinnamon right into our egg wash. Going into our cookie cereal crumble. Okay, why is this kind of turning into something? Why are you lying? This is not turning into something. This is half cooked chicken with strips of white bread on it covered in pure sugar. Please explain what this is turning into. I'm all ears. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, why don't you trust me? Perfect, we're gonna pop it into the air fryer. Now that our chicken is all covered up in the crust, we're gonna pop them back in the air fryer for 10 minutes and let them cook. Wow, perfectly golden brown. We're gonna dip our chicken in our sauce. Um, back up and no explanation on what the sauce is, because uh, that, that doesn't look right. If anything, it actually looks quite wrong. Why are you dipping your white bread cinnamon chicken in what appears to be a strawberry smoothie? You know what, actually, why am I even questioning it? Given the context, it makes perfect sense. Mmm, oh my gosh. Is that good? So good, it's peanut butter and jam. Do me a favor, look into those eyes and tell me with a straight face that those are the eyes of somebody who enjoys what they're eating. Yeah, that's what I thought. Start with our eggs, ground beef, medium queso, freshly chopped onions, salt into the water, and then a little into the bag. Some milk, hot and spicy here. It'll go perfectly with the Cool Ranch. Cheese slices. And you wanna mix it all together. This is the quickest way to make your beef dinner. You know what, I'm gonna have to disagree with that, but what I will agree with is that this is probably the quickest way to get cancer. In my entire life, I have never had the thought even cross my mind, you know what, I'm gonna trade out all of my normal cooking techniques and instead I'm gonna boil everything I eat in a Doritos bag. I mean, what are the kids saying these days, microplastics? This has gotta be a speed run for finding those guys, right? The water is boiling. We're just gonna bring this up and down. This is the technique to make it cook really really fast. It's been about 20 minutes and I can feel it. It just feels done. It's so heavy. Ready? Oh yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's heavy. It's, it's a lot of beef in there. There we go. Ooh. This looks Incredible! At least have some basic respect for your audience. First off, I know you did not sit there for 20 minutes bobbing a bag up and down in boiling water. This is clearly something you cooked off camera. But I mean, good for you because I would start to be really concerned if you ate out of a boiled Dorito bag for TikTok. You know those really stupid signs and warnings you see on things and wonder why would anybody ever need to be told that? In a few years on Dorito bags, it's gonna say, please do not use as a cooking vessel. All right, let's get a bite of this. Wow. Why is that so good? <laughs> it's because you're lying. Well guys, another day, another TikTok food waster. I mean, really nothing new. I think that's my biggest complaint about these videos is not that they're making these stupid recipes, it's that they're making them just to waste it. Like just in these three TikToks alone, there was a considerable amount of food, most of which came from animals. I mean, seriously, maybe I was just raised differently, but that's a pretty weird disconnect for me. If something died for me to eat it, I'm not gonna throw it in the trash for a TikTok. Talk. Sorry. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.
subscribe.